hello and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. And yes, I have boingy sheep on my head. <laughs> Couldn't resist when I found these because obviously look, sheep. And you know how much I love my sheep and my pumpkins. <laughs> oh dear me. Anyway, <laughs> let's get beyond the boingies. <laughs> right then, so today is Wednesday the 5th of April 2023. This is Little Workroom Crafts and my name is Davina. Okay, um, <laughs> wow, that's all I'm going to say about today's work. You are just, so, oh my gosh, such an inspiration. It is unbelievable believable you really really are i'm recording this like it is not even nine o'clock yet it's only ten to nine in the morning because normally when i leave it till lunchtime our little lad decides to use his litter tray so i'm gonna see if <laughs> if he uses the litter tray i know he's doing it on purpose because <laughs> he's out in the kitchen at the moment i know mm. <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, we've had a lovely couple of days of beautiful sunshine. Still a bit chilly, but I like that. And apparently, we've got rain coming in this afternoon. But next week, it's supposed to go, um, or over the weekend, it's supposed to get really, really warm again. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the nice, beautiful sunshine. <laughs> and obviously, we all know that it's Easter this weekend. So, yeah, we have obviously the Good Friday, Easter Sunday and Bank Holiday Monday. But don't worry, I'm still going to be here as crazy as ever on Monday. <laughs> so, yeah, you're still going to have your normal episode, um, you know, as always. Okay, then. Um, what else is there to talk about, really? Nothing, I'm thinking. No. So, let's go into What Have You Been Up To Wednesday? Wow, as I said. Inspirational. Amazing work. Right, first of all, we are going to start in Australia. I know. This is the lovely Christine. So, hi, Christine. And these are... Um, I'll put you there, actually. I'll put them all there. Let's move over a bit. That's it. Put them all there. Uh, a friend of her, hers, it gave her these kits for Christmas. And um, she... Oh, Honestly, in they gorgeous. The knitted toys are absolutely beautiful. The little uh, monkey, oh, hopefully I've got to the monkey. The little monkey has, uh, has got um, uh, his little uh, stripy socks and that. Oh, I think they're so cute. And this beautiful unicorn, the colours in the mane. And oh, it's absolutely beautiful. They are actually a the DIY knitting toy kit by Birch Creative. They were lots of fun to make. Also, she has actually made them for her. Has she's bought her grandies, and um, they'll be visiting them, visiting visiting them. <laughs> Get it right, woman. <laughs> visiting them later on this year, and they are absolutely going to love them. Absolutely love them, Christine. So, well done. Absolutely brilliant. He's gone in his litter box. So, he obviously is doing it on purpose, isn't he? <laughs> I don't believe this. Oh, well, I'll carry on. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say is wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, next up, we have the lovely Pat. Hi, Pat. Now, talk about an inspiration. Honestly, inspiration. Now, this lady, if you can believe it, taught herself to crochet in January. We're only in the beginning of April, right? Look at these. These are absolutely amazing. She said that there's mistakes in them. Well, I can't see none. So, do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, they are a paid-for pattern from Mel's Crochet on Etsy. She used Stylecraft Special um, Aran. And um, she... Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, there's the snowman, the cow, the dragon, and little old Rudolph. Now, honestly... Pat, I cannot believe that you only taught yourself how to crochet 
like three, four months ago. Well, three months ago, isn't it, really, if you think about it. Do you know what I mean? So, and she said, you know, she did tell me her age, but I ain't going to tell you her age. You know, she is a mature lady. And, uh, you know, it said it's never, ever too late to learn a new craft, which, let's face it, you are proof of that. That is just amazing. Um, also, you are, um, you've got, uh, you do your cross stitch. And so you've been knitting for many, many years. So you're a multi um, crafter like um, most of us here. And also, I've just got a little personal note for your pack. When you do start your patchwork, you start, you know, to learn your patchwork. If you do have any questions or anything you get stuck on, just message me over or email me over and I'll see if I can help you. But pack amazing absolutely beautiful <laughs> i don't believe him i really really don't i'm gonna try in the afternoon next week <laughs> that's how i'll be doing at lunchtime oh my gosh oh well also, we have the lovely Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Now, Sandra sent in some beautiful quilts and, and some of her beautiful work. She would love to wish everybody that watches this video a happy Easter. And we would like to wish you a happy Easter too, Sandra. Thank you so much for that. Uh, she has made this gorgeous, beautiful, bright coloured um wall hanging on her embroidery machine but she made it a few years ago and she still love it those bunnies are so cute oh my gosh oh you are so clever so yeah absolutely beautiful sandra well done well done okay next up i'll talk about great idea i love this is the lovely lorraine hi lorraine right then lorraine loves making granny squares oh I love granny squares. <laughs> she still has have a big bag full, but she started to put some together and she's made this beautiful peg bag. Now, what a great idea. I do actually need a new peg bag, so I might be, you know, borrowing that idea off of you. Uh, I just think that's amazing. I really do. Um, yeah, so she's made it up. There's no patterns for any of these, but what a beautiful peg bag. And also this little storage bag uh, for her plastic bags to go in. Absolutely brilliant. I love the ideas. I really, really do. So well done, Lorraine. I'm definitely going to be making, I think, one of those um, <laughs> add to me list. <laughs> one of those um, peg bags. I just think that's brilliant. Okay, then what we got here? Oh, yes. So well done, Lorraine. Okay, then, right, the lovely Hazel. Hi, Hazel. Now, Hazel's been busy making socks, uh, but she's actually doing the year of socks from my honey, Stephen West. <laughs> so, first up, this is the February socks. Okay, and um, they are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. These are, is called the Painting Triangles. The main yarn is, and I did laugh at this bit, and I'll see what I can do here, <laughs> is made from the Zwarbles. <laughs> she did say, see if you can see that, say that word, because you all know how much I struggle with my words. <laughs> so the main yarn is the Zwarbles, <laughs> crazy, and the uh, little triangles are actually used from Stash. Absolutely gorgeous. They were her February socks. Right then, so her March socks are the woven checks. Main dark blue is the Cascade Heritage. I love that yarn. And the little checks are from Stash. Both pairs are for your hubby. Ooh, you have got a lucky hubby there, I tell you. <laughs> I know Glenn Alton gets the occasional socks. <laughs> but two in one go, he'd think he'd be spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me honestly hazel they're absolutely beautiful well well done well done and he's gonna love them right then okay so who we got next how many more have we got right so we've got three left next up we have the lovely heather so hi heather 
So Heather sent over some pictures of this. Oh my gosh, this beautiful dress that she's made. And it is the Rosa dress from Simply Sewing magazine. Beautiful colours. I love the, the belt uh, that you have put round it. I think that really does finish it off lovely. Also, Helen Phillips, now I follow her on Instagram as well. She has actually launched this uh, cross stitch uh, to um, celebrate that's the, word I'm looking for. <laughs> the coronation that we've got to come up next um, next month um, here in the UK. So the first picture is actually the cross stitch is uh, obviously a work in progress. And then the second picture is it all finished I love the way you finished it. It's absolutely beautiful. I did actually pop over um, to Helen Phillips. And uh, it's a very, very reasonably priced um, pattern. It really, really is. And it is PDF. So, you know what I mean? Absolutely brilliant. So I would be tempted, but I am doing my crochet blanket. At the <laughs> and, oh dear, I don't know if I'd get it all done, unfortunately. But no, absolutely beautiful, Heather. I say that lovely dress is going to be gorgeous in the summer and the springtime. And uh, the cross-stitch finish is absolutely lovely. So well done. Okay, then next up we have Katrina, 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 sorry. Hi. Now, this lovely lady has actually crocheted these little cups and saucers. Isn't they delicate? They're beautiful uh, for the Nottingham Hospice. Uh, they will be putting chocolate eggs in them. And I just think they are so pretty. They really, really are pretty. And, you know, lovely, isn't it? Charity work. You know, us crafters, we do a lot of our charity work. We really, really do. So well done. I think that is absolutely beautiful and they're all going to love them right then last up is my lovely friend sarah hi sweetie now if you remember oh was it january time i think in the january time i brought out a plea didn't i for um, someone who had the uh, peter rabbit pull out from the crochet magazine and oh had some lovely lovely um a, a view that actually opened up and i got one sent to myself and one sent to sarah because sarah was after them because she does the post box toppers and she had an idea of doing uh, mr mcgregor's garden well anyway sarah's finished it oh dear me and it is absolutely beautiful the little characters just oh well anyway i'll show you you've got to look at this so look at these. Hold on a minute. I've got Glenn ringing. Hang on. Right. There you go. So, yeah. So <laughs> just get rid of him. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, the Peter Rabbit uh, post box topper that Sarah has made from the pattern. And she said she'd love to thank the lady so much for sending the pattern. Oh, my gosh. She's had so much fun making this topper. Isn't it gorgeous? So this first photograph is actually in her in her home, and she's put it over the uh, you know the, the the leg rest. And uh, yeah, honestly, but the second picture, look at this, is outside in all its glory. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous, Sarah. Well done, absolutely amazing. Oh, I am so so glad that we could all help you. And uh, it is look. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It really, really does. Okay, then, right. So that is it for this week. So well done, everybody, and you all deserve a massive, massive round of applause. Honestly, lovely spring and Easter related um, things this week. Absolutely gorgeous. So as always, if you um, would like to let's move over in the middle a bit <laughs> like to take part in what have you been up to this is the email address it is little workroom crafts number 1616 at gmail.com please email over your pictures of what you've got 
as I say, work in progress or what you've finished, what you're doing, you know, just send over. I, honestly, it's, oh, I, we all love seeing it. You'll be surprised how many people love seeing all your work. So come on, take part. It is a lot of fun. It really, really is. And um, yeah, especially this time of year when we've got all the lovely colours coming out in the um, in nature. So uh, yeah, email over with a picture and a little bit of bump, you know, if you've used a pattern or you designed it yourself or, you know, we're all getting so much inspiration from you all. We really, really are. Okay, then, right. So I am going to love you and leave you all. And as I say, I will be back on Monday. <laughs> Wee! Got me boinky. Woo! They really go for it now. <laughs> me boinky sheep. <laughs> okay, then. So I will be back on Monday. So everybody, please have a lovely, lovely Easter Sunday if you do um, celebrate. And um, oh, I oh, I just hope that it is actually going to be nice and sunny. It, it, we need it, don't we? <laughs> so please, as always, take care. Stay safe. And happy crafting, my lovelies. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.